so we have less than a week before attempting to plant 2,000 trees. Half an acre of briar and bramble to clear, and two separately named storms on the way. And we know they only named the good ones. I don't know why I do it to myself. So I'd better get started. I don't know if you guys remember a few videos back I bought a very cheap uh, brush cutter from Screwfix well uh, the brambles in the bottom field just destroyed that so I've had to upgrade to something a little bit more heavy duty. Just nick the camera. I know you all think that Bruce is doing all the hard work, but I've been here the whole time. Wow, that is pretty much all day on that, and not gonna lie, hardly made a dent in it. So, I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow, I think, and have another hit of this. And uh, I know there's gonna be a few of you out there saying, why don't I get a flail for the tractor? And that has definitely been on my mind all day today. But, um, reason being, I can't imagine using it too many more times once this is all cleared, because it's all gonna be full of trees. Although, I have put a shout out to my neighbour to see whether. Um, any of the farmers around here fancy coming over and using one of their big machines just to get this done a bit quicker. Okay, so we're back out in the field uh, with the soul destroying job of trying to get rid of like half an acre of brambles, it feels like 10 acres. Um, but I think we've kind of come up with a bit of a system, which is, I bought this from good old James Devitts and uh, basically hacking them down a bit and then going over them with a the brush cutter because they're so tall. But um, I have also actually sent a message to somebody about a flail mower and one of my neighbours came over. Unfortunately his tractor's a bit too big to get in here and the ground's a little bit too soft. So, whilst we haven't got another option, we better get on with it. <laughs> I also found out today uh, from my neighbour that his mum likes to watch the vlog which is awesome. So, hi Bridie, thanks for watching, it's very appreciated.
So we've got Storm Thingamajigger and Storm What's His Face coming in now. Uh, I think it's supposed to get really windy later on today, so need to seize my opportunity and get on. Uh, so probably means I'm not going to take too much footage, but let's be honest, you'll probably stick to the back teeth, as I definitely am, of cutting these bloody brambles down. So hopefully we can get ourselves ready for Sunday. I think with all this wind I would be able to stay cool but I'm absolutely roasting. Seems to me that the storm has finally caught up with us, so I think we could better head inside and uh, hopefully, if it's not too windy tomorrow, I can get this whole thing finished off. Okay, so the storm didn't actually hit us all that bad uh, last night and it's not so bad right now. So, I know this is getting a bit boring, but I'm going to go and finish that field off now because it's driving me mad. But, can't wait to get the trees in the ground. This is the home straight and I am going to get this finished today. Here comes the rain. break. <laughs> Guzen Thai. What are we doing next, Mr. Now? Planting shrubs. Excellent. <laughs> so whilst I was trimming the brambles back, uh, amongst them were raspberries. I uprooted ten of them uh, to transplant up to the top near the house. Making bets? I've been making a den. Well, they're not quite finished, but I've been making a den for Ash. 
Um, I did help Betsy though, so that's why mine's not as done. Oh, they both look amazing. It's like a tunnel. So, it's really, really calm at the moment, but looking at the forecast, there's supposed to be some real big winds coming in uh, this evening. Gusts of up to 130 kilometers an hour, so just going through the process of weighing everything down, especially things like trampolines and things like that, so uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to leave it here. Hope everybody stays safe through the storm, and I'll see you guys next week when we're planting 2,000 trees.